We're back with Sarah who's making it her mission to beat a multitude of betrayals and turn her trauma into triumph. Also joining us now via Zoom, our friend, my colleague, psychotherapist, Dr. Mike Dow. Dr. Dow, always a pleasure to have you. Always a pleasure to be here. Back to you, Sarah. Before the break, we talked a little about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So tell us, where's your relationship with your ex-husband now? We are on really, really good terms. Uh, and I'm really proud of that. It doesn't mean I forget, condone, or pardon anything he went through. I need to make that very, very clear. Because if we forget that anything happened, we're not honoring the experience that we went through. And so it's it's a choice, though, every day. And we work on it. We um, I'm really proud. We do a really, really good job as a family. And Dr. Dow, such an incredible story. So tell us how you would analyze it and what really jumps out for you in this, in this scenario with Sarah. The first thing that jumps out is Sarah herself. They say the truth will set you free. Mm -hmm. And watching you, Sarah, your smile, your depth, it is very clear to me that you've done a lot of work to hold both the negative emotions and also the positive emotions, which are not mutually exclusive. And when you do that work and when you do speak your truth, it is incredible the richness of a life that you can lead. And for you, it also sounds like there's a lot of purpose. So isn't it incredible, Sarah, that you've taken something that was so traumatic and turned it into something that is purposeful, a reason to get up every morning, which is what we all need. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Yes. Back to you, Dr. Dow. Why is it so hard to work through a scenario of betrayal? So betrayal is very interesting because we all need to remember that the brain is a learning machine. So when you learn that I am safe and everything in your gut, your intuition, your heart, your mind is saying, I am safe based on my past experiences. And then you have an experience that challenges that, then you start to question everything. And it leads to something very deep, this belief, this, this fear that says, I'm not safe. And what is going to happen next? So we all have this little smoke detector in our brain, in our emotional center. And that sort of turns up the smoke detector. Now the smoke detector is going off every single day in every relationship. You know, talking to you, Dr. Orton, oh my goodness, hey, can I trust him? Or can I trust my mother? Can I trust my father? And all of a sudden, you really question everything. What is real? Which is why betrayal trauma is so pervasive and affects so many relationships in people's lives. 